Hi, welcome to the paint palette. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to paint a simple bumblebee. Um, here's one I did earlier. All right, um, he's quite a chubby one, but it's all a bit of fun. Um, very simple because of minimal amounts of paint. So you only need black, a yellow of some sort, and white. All right, and I've used also to go around the edge a 005 uh, Pigma pen, which is like a black um, Pigma ink pen, so it's waterproof, it won't run, um, and it dries very quickly. All right, so let me show you how to draw a bumblebee. All right, all you need to do, okay, is draw an oval, like so, all right, and then a circle that overlaps it for the head. Something like that, okay. You then just need to add on a pointed bit for the sting. So it's a little triangle really. So you've got an oval, you can most probably bring that up a bit more like that, a circle and for the head. So three shapes to start with, all right. Now the wings, all right, even though we paint those at the end, we can add them on now in pencil. Um, they are literally two curves. Do one, then overlap and do another. All right and then a couple of legs. So it's as simple as that, all right? Now we don't need this part of the head here, so we can rub that out. It's just easier to draw it as a circle to start with, so you get the shape right, okay. And to start with as well, we don't need these middle bits of the wings where they go into the body because we're gonna be concentrating on the stripes. Okay, so you can add your stripes. Okay, something like that. All right, you can have as many or as few as you want. So one there, one there, something like that. All right, now the brush I'm gonna be using, okay, is a flat brush. All right, now it must be flat across the top. It can't be an angle or a round brush, all right? So flat across the top. Obviously the size, um, whichever's easiest for you, painting your stripes and that. And the paints we're using, the colours, are black, yellow and white, all right? So first of all, wet your brush, dab it dry, because you do it on a piece of kitchen towel or a cloth, and pick up your black and paint the black head, like so. Okay. You then need to paint your black tail. So just literally dab on the lines with the edge of the brush and then go onto the corner and fill it in. Okay, you can neaten it all up with the pen at the end. All right. So we've got the black head and the black tail. Okay. So we'll put some black on now here. I tend to put black next to the head. Don't know why, it just seems to work. But you can do the stripes in any order you like. So pop some black on. Your lines are only a guide, we can rub them out at the end, so don't worry about sticking to them rigidly. Okay, black on, <laughs> quickly wash your brush. Okay, dab it dry. Pick up some yellow. And put your yellow stripe on. You need to work quite quickly because we need to blend the paint a little bit where the colours join, all right? So pop that on. That funny noise you can hear is the my wash box. It's got rivets in the bottom so that it really pulls the paint off the brush. Okay, so then with the handle upright, don't hold it like a pen, hold it upright. 
go overlap where the two colours join, put a little bit of pressure and just move left and right at that point. Okay, because what you want to do is just blend the colours a little bit and it gives the bumblebee a bit of a furry look then. Okay, like so. Every time you do this it will come out different and that's that makes it fun. Okay, so then take some black Put a black stripe on. Okay, if you think the yellow has dried a bit, just go back and re wet it with a fresh bit of yellow. Along that edge. Okay. Wash your brush off and dry it again. Handle upright like this. And then quickly move the brush down. Like so. Okay. And like I say, every time you do it, it'll come out different. And there's nothing to stop you going back and altering a bit and redoing it later on if you want to. So for the last bit, take some yellow. Obviously you may have more stripes on your bumblebee, that's fine. You just keep going until it's finished, obviously. Okay, some yellow. <laughs> Wash your brush. I think that black is just about dry, so I will take a tiny bit. Just so I've got something to blend with along this edge. You don't need a lot. You don't want thick, thick globules of paint. Alright. Handle upright. And just blend. I'm just turning the brush slightly to go with the shape of the outer edge of the body. So I turned it that way there and this way up here, just so that it worked. Okay. Let's go back and twiddle. This one a bit because it's still wet. <laughs> Okay, that one's come out really well, as you can see. All right, this one here may have been just slightly bit too wet. All right, I'm tempted just to put some yellow back over the top. All right, I think I may have had just a bit too much black on that edge. Let's see if it can work, neatening it up. There we go, that's better. All right, so you've got yellow back, yellow black. All right. Okay, what we can do now is just dry that with a hairdryer. So we need to add the wings back in. Okay, so we take some white. All right, now even though it's on white card, all whites come up different. All right, so when it's dry, it will look slightly different and then they'll show up. So we put the back wing, wing in. Now that stops at the edge of the body because it's disappearing behind the body. When we paint the front one, which is this one, okay, what I want you to do is to bring it onto the body 
like that. So just use your the chisel edge of your brush almost like a pencil just to draw where you want to go. Like so, and then fill it in. Okay. You will need to do two coats on that, so we'll just dry it in between. a little bit. There we go. And while that's drying a little bit we can add an eye. All right what you need to do is just use the handle of your brush really and a little bit of wet paint. Make sure your paint's not too gloopy. If it's been out a while and it's started to dry then take try and loosen down a fresh bit. Pick up some white on the end of your handle and just dab it on. If you want to make it bigger just swirl it around a little bit. Okay I like it like that because it's not too strong it's soft and in, you know a softer eye. Okay dry that with the hair dryer. And then what I did, double O5, very, very fine, Micron Pigma pen, any sort of waterproof, permanent, very fine pen, Pigma ink is ideal, okay, so it doesn't bleed and it dries very quickly. And you just need to go around the edge of your bumblebee, mainly where the yellow is. This is a chance for you to neaten it all up. Okay and around the edge of your wings like that. You can add the legs on, all right. You can pop some antennae like so, maybe with a little dot on the top. Like that, and I quite like doing some little Zs like that. All right, on the first one I did as well, I couldn't resist adding the word bumble and some dots. Now, obviously, once that's completely dry, you can rub out any of the grey pencil lines from the beginning, but for a little bit of fun, it's nice to add some opal dust. Now this is made by Jo Sonia. I'll show you the bottle. All right, Jo Sonia opal dust. It says for glitter effects. And basically, whatever colour you add it onto, the sparkle will be in that colour. So I'm adding it onto the white here. So when I turn this in the light, in the light you may not be able to see it very well, but it is there. It's a little bit of sparkle and obviously if I put this opal dust, this is what it looks like when it comes out the bottle. If I put this onto pink, a pink heart, it would be sparkling in pink. Purple, it would be purple. It's brilliant. All right. It just adds a bit of fun to your projects. Okay, so there you go. There's a quick and easy little bumblebee. Obviously I've done one quite big. But you could do little ones, add them onto absolutely anything. Cards, painted projects that you've done. Just have a go. Enjoy. Thank you.